and gentlemen, you are very welcome to our session here this morning, facilitating credit in the SME marketplace. And a special thank you to everybody for making it here to this morning after a very late night last night and a long three days. My name is Gail McAvoy. I'm a member of the IFAC board since 2013 and a proud member of CPA Ireland. More appropriate to this session, though, my day job is that of an SMP, advising and helping SMEs every day. And previous to my board appointment, I was very fortunate to serve as technical advisor to the SMP committee. Before I get into the theme and structure of the session, I would like to pass on my condolences and that of everybody here to Fabio Corno and his family on the sudden passing of his father. Giacomo Corno, who was an innovative and progressive Italian accountant. Fabio understandably cannot be here today, but his slides and notes will be available along with the others after the session. I am joined here today by Michael Volker, Graham Wade, and Kumar Raghu. Michael is an entrepreneur active in the development of new high technology ventures. He is presently director of Simon Fraser's University's Innovation Office, and Mike runs the Vancouver Angel Network, and is president of the Vancouver chapter of the Koretsu Forum. Graham Wade is deputy president at CPA Australia, and has operated at partner level in public practice for more than 25 years. He has consulted widely across the private sector and has also provided advice to the Australian government. Kumar Raghu is president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants in India. He has 23 years of advanced professional standing in the Indian chartered accountants profession. He has represented them in various forums, both nationally and internationally. Access to finance is probably one of the most researched areas on SMEs. One of the reasons for this is that it is integral to so many strategic issues for SMEs and is embedded in the everyday actions and decisions of most small business owners. Conventional wisdom states that smaller firms are more risky than larger enterprises and as such may have difficulty in raising finance. Larger businesses have ready-made access to equity capital markets which are not accessible to the vast majority of SMEs. One of the main reasons for the continued attention in this area is we do not live in a general world. All businesses have particular needs at a certain point in their life cycle and at certain critical events. These particularities may also be influenced by the different motivations of small business owners, their own personal characteristics, the sector, and the location of their enterprise. Significant evidence does exist which suggests that there are specific problem areas and a number of groups face distinct challenges when accessing finance, including women setting up in business, particular ethnic minorities, and entrepreneurs from deprived backgrounds. These different characteristics require different responses to foster a functioning finance market for SMEs. Our panel here today will analyze the current conditions for access to finance, the changes that are occurring, and the alternative solutions to facilitate borrowing. The format for the session this morning is each panelist will make a presentation at the podium, and these presentations will be followed by questions and answers. And as I look around here today, I can see that not all the skills are up here on the podium. So we welcome questions and comments and input from you. I understand that you can do it via your app or you can use the tip of the traditional approach and the microphone up here. But before you ask your question, please identify yourself and where you're from. And just before we get started, if any of you have a mobile phone or such device, if you could just at the very least switch it to silent.